And guys, trying to keep this short. There's your ring. All right, your ring, if you will. And take note of the top as I press, as I hold this on the outside, and press on a weak spot there. That's what your snap buckling looks like. All right, let's grab a new spot. And you can see, first off, this is pretty good there. Let's force it to snap buckle there. So you see what happens to my hands? When I push down on it, it goes out. When it goes out, it breaks the outer interface ring, the initial, but once the initial breaks the outer, outer interface ring, all right, watch it push down again. You can see it push my hands out. Okay. Let's grab a, a more, you know, it's a little bit egg shape. Let's see if I can fix it a bit. But I'll hold it in my hands here and I'll push here. You see how it pushes my hands out? That's how you initially get the outer interface ring saying goodbye. Sorry guys, I just lost the lighting, didn't I? It's a motion light where I am on this section. Let me get that light back on. Okay, so as you can see, this is not broken. Let's see if I can force it now to snap buckle for you. Well, that's a different failure, and I think we see those there too. But that would be the interface ring at this point. Let's continue that through. And as you can see, this would then, the outside where my hands are, thumbs, uh, the palms, it would then collapse it in, all right? But we also have the motion coming in also. Let's see if we can grab another piece to snap buckle it. I need to give it more play. There we go. And then there you see. So there it's up. And now you see the delamination on the inside, not the outside. And there's your delamination taking place. Let's go with this one. This is... A little more, this is what a snap, what it looks like if the outside then delaminates, if this could stretch more on the inside, which it cannot because it's running up against five inches of carbon fiber. So the snap buckle is more the internal layer. Let's give it a little assistance on that. A little assistance, hope I don't tear too much of it. I hope I don't tear too much of it so it can help you visualize it. And then there's your the snap buckling. Let's see if we can put that back together and do it. Well, let's try this one again. A different section. Look here. See, did you see the... See it right there? But remember, the ocean here is keeping it. From, it's found a weak point because it's weak there. And she'll make it to failure again. And there she goes. There she goes. Now she'll crush. And she'll come in this way also. So hopefully that helps you. And this should be what you see in the um, uh, the failure of the interface ring, where they overlap each other like that, like a pretzel. But at some point they had a double snap buckle, a double failure. I think it went like that again. And you get this. All right. That was a short video, but I don't want it to be a, a short. It means if it's under five minutes, they're going to throw this in a short. So let me make another minute worth of content. Um, hold on. So here I just have a box full of confetti. Watch what I do. I'm going to make us the Titan. A hull. Okay. Here, maybe. Okay, there we go. Now, I want you to see like a pressure wave as I press on it. It's, it's gonna see that. So you're coming in here, and that's where your snap buckling is folding over. Let me see what it looks like there to you. I need to reload that. And now I want you to. Uh, Let's see if I can get that a little better for you. Yeah, so I'm going to press here. And as it, it goes down, it, it, this buckles in as you saw, as I showed you here. 
as I showed you with this ring. This now starts folding in. And the outer edges fold, first they bulge out, as I told you, as I showed you. It bulges out and breaks the outer inner face rings, all right? So it breaks the outer ring. And then there's a, yeah, lighting, hold on. Yep, there we go. It breaks the outer ring. And then the ocean pressure collapses it down tighter. And it's able to shove it into the into the inner ring. The pressure from the back end is able to drive it. All right, it's able to drive it as it profiles down here. The dome is able to well, we get this spinning off. All right, we get this spinning off. So we get this now. The ceiling stays in place. So this this what I'm showing you is actually near the side or bottom. But then if this comes in and just pushes it all to the back. All right, we do get some material. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. i got to answer this phone call. So I hate to cut this one short, but this is conceptual for you. Um, you can make your own confetti box and play with it and come up with your own profile. But, uh, yeah, i got to get this phone call. i gotta get. I got to call the guy back. It goes off that direction, and the dome comes flying in. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.